Welcome to another session on FMT. Today we'll discuss examination of blood stains. It actually is in the part of the skills, but some MCQs are do asked from this topic. At the end of this session, you should be able to demonstrate and identify that a particular stain is blood and identify the species of its origin. Demonstrate the correct technique to perform and identify ABO and RH blood group of a person. Let's begin. Blood stains. Investigators often find blood stains during the examination of a crime scene. They also find stains that could be either blood or some other similar substance like reddish brown paint, sauce, juice, rust, etc. Forensic analysis of blood. First is visual examination of evidence, then presumptive screening test. Is it blood? Confirmation test, that is a confirmatory test. Seriously, is it blood? Determine species of its origin, whether it is human blood or some other species. Identify the blood. Whose blood is it? So, to identification of that person. This is the protocol for examination of blood stain. First is the visual recognition. The pattern analysis is done. Documentation and interpretation of this pattern. The identification of the blood. There is a presumptive test, confirmatory test. This is followed by species determination. After this, individualization, which is based on non-genetic markers and genetic markers. The genetic markers can be traditional or DNA analysis. Presumptive screening tests. Negative result means the question stain is not likely blood. Positive result means that the question stain is likely blood. So you are presuming that it can be blood if it is positive. The presumptive test produce a color reaction or release of light. The test rely on the catalytic properties of blood that is presence of hemoglobin. Now how to do the color test? Apply chromogen that is the color changing chemical. Apply oxidizing agent hydrogen peroxide. The catalyst of the reaction is hemoglobin. Rapid color change is a positive result. This means the stain is blood. How the color test is done? Scrap a little bit of stain into the test tube. Add drop of chromogen. Add drop of hydrogen peroxide. Color catalytic tests are very sensitive but not specific. The positive color test alone should not be interpreted as positive proof of blood. Other non-blood substances might catalyze the reaction also. False positive test is a positive result given by a substance that is not blood. A negative result is generally proof of the absence of detectable quantities of heme. However, a false positive can be generated in the presence of a reducing agent. The presumptive color tests that are available are benzidin test, phenolphthalein or Castle-Meyer test, orthotolidin test, tetramethyl benzidin test and leukomelachite green test. I will demonstrate how the phenolphthalein or the Castle-Meyer test is done. Watch the video carefully. Scrape out this blood stain in a test tube, little bit. Add distilled water and mix the stain properly. Mix it. Then add phenolphthalein rigid, few drops. Then add hydrogen peroxide, few drops. You can see the bright pink color. So this is phenolphthalein or Castle-Meyer test. The next test that is available is benzidin test, but this is not done nowadays because benzidin is carcinogenic. So positive result it used to give blue color. Luminol test is a method similar to color test. Luminol is combined with oxygen and sprayed over area thought to contain blood. It emits a blue white to yellow green glow. So if the blood is present, it will glow. You can see in the 
image here. Blue white glow if the blood is present. Now coming to confirmatory test due to the possibility of false positives with the presumptive test confirmatory tests are necessary. Confirmatory tests involve making crystals that detect the presence of hemoglobin. The two tests that are available for blood is the Tichman test and the Takayama test. Small amount of blood stain added to the microscopic slide, chemical solution is added, slide is slightly heated to form crystals and the crystals are viewed under the microscope. This is the general protocol for Takayama and Tichman test. For Takayama test, the Takayama reagent is made of deionized water, sodium hydroxide, saturated dextrose solution and pyridine. The test is based on the reaction of pyridine with hemoglobin to form hemochromagen crystals. Hemochromagens are compounds of ferroprotoporphyrin in which the residual valences of the heme complex are occupied by the nitrogenous bases. The test is carried out on a microscopic slide with Takayama reagent being added to the stain under the cover sleeve and warm. You can see here the pink feathery crystals. So this is the positive Takayama test. For Teachman test, place a sample of suspected blood on a glass slide, add few drops of Teachman reagent which is glacial acetic acid with NaCl from the side of the cover sleeve and heat it to form hematin derivative. These hemin or hematin chloride crystals are brownish rhombic shape. You can see in the image the brownish rhombic shape crystals. So this is positive Teachman test. So these are hemin or hematic chloride crystals. Microscopic examination, non-mammalian RBCs like in bird, fish, reptile and amphibian, they are oval, biconvex and nucleated. You can see in the image. RBCs of humans and mammals, they are circular, biconcave and non-nucleated with the exception of camel and llama which are oval, biconvex and non-nucleated. This is the RBCs of humans. So they are circular, biconcave and non-nucleated. Non-nucleated. So you can see there is no nucleus. Now coming to species origin, most methods test for serum proteins. The serum proteins are found in all animals but are slightly different. The species identification methods are based on antigen antibody reactions. The antibody is there in the antiserum and antigen which is serum protein is in the blood sample. So there is an antibody antigen reaction. Human antiserum will only attach to the human blood sample. Rabbit antiserum will only attach to the rabbit blood sample. And dog antiserum will only attach to the dog blood sample. So these are the basic fundamentals. So in the ring precipitation test, the antisera is added which is forms the bottom layer as it is heavy. The blood sample is added after that. So it is dilute and it forms the top layer. If a precipitate is formed between the blood and the antisera, it means that the blood and the antisera species match. You can see a precipitate has been formed. So if the line is there between the blood and the antisera and it is human antisera, then the blood is human. If there is no precipitation between the blood and the antisera, then it is not human blood. Let's discuss a MCQ. Confirmatory test for blood stain, the options are A. Benzidine test, B. Spectroscopic study, C. Orthotolidin test and D. Tichman test. So we have just discussed benzidine, no. It is a presumptive test, spectroscopic study, no. Orthotolidin test, no. Tichman test is the confirmatory test for blood stain. So the correct option will be D here, right? Others are the presumptive test. 
Now, genetic markers in the blood, if the stain is blood and if it is human blood, then whose blood is it? So, the markers which are available are blood group markers, protein and enzyme markers and DNA. The blood group markers, many blood group markers are available including ABO markers, Lewis system and the research system. Other markers are available like protein or enzyme markers. Some proteins or enzymes can be in different forms or different shapes. These differences can be detected by separating the proteins in a gel by electrophoresis. The genetic markers in the blood, ABO blood typing and protein analysis may help eliminate a suspect. A match does not mean that a stain definitely came from the certain person. DNA testing can identify a person and is becoming just as easy as the above test. Now coming to ABO grouping. Commonly used method is the slide method. In this method, a glass slide support is leveled into three parts. Then place a drop of anti A which is blue in color and one drop of anti B which is yellow in color and anti D which is colorless regent separately on a label slide. Add one drop of blood to each of these anti -sera. The cells and the regent are mixed using a clean stick. The subject is blood group A if agglutination occurred with anti A test sera, group B if agglutination occurred with anti B test sera and group AB if agglutination occurred with both test serums and O if there is no agglutination in either case. So it is group A if there is agglutination with anti A test sera, group B if agglutination occurs with anti B test sera, AB if agglutination occurred with both the test sera and O if there is no agglutination in either case. If agglutination is present in the third column then it is RH positive. If no agglutination is there then it is RH negative. I will show you a video to demonstrate the same. You should be able to tell which blood group is it. already marked A, B and RH positive or negative. The blood is added first here. Then anti A is added to A. Yellow is anti B. Transparent is for RH. Now it is mixed, each one with a separate clean stick. So there is no agglutination with A, but there is agglutination with B. You can see the agglutination. So it is gently mixed. You can see there is agglutination in B as well as with RH. So it is, you can say that this is B positive blood. Let us examine another one. A drop of blood is added to pre labeled A, B, R positive or negative RH, it's anti A, one drop is added, anti B is yellow, one drop is added and for RH the colorless one. Then it is mixed. You 
can see there is a agglutination in A. In B, there is no agglutination. And for RH, let us see. Gently move, you can see there is agglutination is there even in RH. So, it is A positive blood. Forensic testing for the ABO system in dried blood stains centers on identifying the antigens and antibodies present. Different methods have been devised, but the most commonly used technique is the absorption illusion. Other methods include absorption inhibition or mixed agglutination methods detects the type of antigens on the RBC surfaces or for antibodies by the lattice crust test. The test is lattice crust test. Let us discuss IMCQ. Antibodies found in type O individual. The options are A anti A, B anti B, C anti AB and D neither A nor B antibody. So, antibodies we are talking about antibodies in type O individual. So, they will have antibodies against A and B. So, the correct option will be A and B. So, A and B. Sometimes this kind of questions are asked in PGA. There are other methods available to test human blood which is more rapid than the traditional test the rapid stain identification of human blood that is RSID blood. The RSID blood is a commercially available confirmatory test for human blood and it is highly sensitive and specific. No other human body fluids or animal blood samples cross react. The RSID blood strip uses dual monoclonal antibodies specific for human glycophorin A found in RBC's membranes and not hemoglobin. So, it reacts with the human glycophorin A which is there in RBC's membrane. Visible red lines at both control and test position indicate positive result. The test can detect 1 microliter of human blood and the strip results are complete in 10 minutes. So, very rapid. There is a ABA card hematress test strips. This hematress test strips are used to detect blood by identifying the presence of human hemoglobin. The test strip contains anti-human hemoglobin antibody which reacts with the antigens in the extract resulting in antigen antibody complex where it reacts with the dye particles to create visible reactions. The presence of two pink lines one in the T area that is a test sample and one in the C area that is the control indicate a positive result. As you can see here, this is a positive result. We have got a pink line both at the T area and the C area. The presence of only one pink line in the C area indicates a negative result. A negative result indicates there is no hemoglobin antigen present or is below the limit of detection of the test. So, this is a negative test only one line is there which is there in the C area. If there is no pink line in the C area the test is invalid. So, this is an invalid test there is no line in the C area. Now, just a brief about secretors. Some individuals secrete their ABO antigenic characteristic that is the A, B and H blood group substances into the body fluid such as saliva, semen, gastric juice and vaginal fluid in a very high concentration and in low concentration in sweat, tears and urine. The ability to secrete is under the control of a pair of genes SC and SC. With SC being the dominant, where S, one of the S is capital, homozygous SC, SC and heterozygous SC, SC individuals are secretors. That is 80% of the general population 
and homozygous which is small sc sc they are non secretors which is about 20% of the population so most of us are secretors of abo blood groups now what are the medical legal issues related to blood stain examination or blood grouping in the civil cases this disputed paternity like adultery and divorce blackmail maintenance claim share of property disputed maternity when the same child is claimed by two women allegation of interchange of child kidnapping cases supposed as child inheritance claims the question of legitimacy arises since a legitimate child only can inherit the parents property divorce and nullity of marriage cases questions of intersex and some forbidden diseases civil negligence cases arising in the hospital or medical practices incompatible blood transfusion expired blood presence of pathogenic organisms in the blood etc blood doping it is a method of increasing athletic performance by artificially increasing an athlete's rbc count in criminal cases identification of the victim or offenders of crime in circumstances such as murder wounding rape and vehicular accidents stains on body fluids the blood group antigens can be demonstrated in stains on clothes due to semen sweat or saliva the because of the secretor status of that individual crime scene reconstruction blood spatter interpretation can be valuable in determining how blood was deposited on an item at the scene of crime corroborate or refute an individual allegation on an alleged events of an assault cases of malingering the specificity of various blood group combination is like that of fingerprint when an individual has some rare blood group he can be identified with certainty cause of death example detection of poison in the blood times in death can be estimated by use of different chemical or biochemical test so these are the medical legal importance in criminal cases let's discuss our mcq lattice crust of blood stain is used to detect the options are a nature of stain b detection of species c blood group and d secretor status so lattice crust test is done to detect the blood group as we have discussed it's not the nature of stain detection of species or secretor status it is to determine the blood group of the individual lattice crust test so the correct option will be c here now for some points to remember which will help you in your mcqs positive presumptive or the screening test indicates blood is present phenolphthalein or castlemayer test is a presumptive test for blood benzidine test for blood is not done because of its carcinogenic effect non mammalian rbcs like bird fish reptile and amphibian they are oval biconvex and nucleated rbcs of human and mammals they are circular biconcave and non nucleated except camel and llama in which it is oval biconvex and non nucleated crystal test like tichman and takayama are confirmatory test for blood crystal test involve the non protein heme group of hemoglobin that is the porphyrins tichman test gives brownish rhombic shaped crystals hemin or hematin chloride takayama test gives pink feathery crystals which is made of hemochromagen confirmation of human blood is done by immunological methods immunoprecipitation is commonly used for species identification confirmatory test for human blood rapid stain identification of human blood that is rsid blood first known blood grouping is the abo system and was discovered by karl landsteiner commonly used technique for forensic testing for the abo system in dried blood stain is the absorption elution method latte cross method used to detect abo blood grouping secretors some individual secret their 
ABO antigen into the body fluid such as saliva, semen, gastric juice and vaginal fluid. ABO antigens are not found in CSA. Blood grouping may exclude a certain person as possible father of the child but they cannot definitely establish the paternity. Technique for absolute certainty of paternity is DNA fingerprinting. Under section 125 CRPC, an individual must adopt his illegitimate child or support him. Sex can be determined from blood stain by identifying the Y chromosome, bar body and using the FISH technique. F-I-S-H, the FISH technique. I hope you have understood today's session. Thank you.